So in this position, we're looking at hip internal rotation, just to qualify to see if we're ready for rotational movements. So if you're in, unable to sit up in this position comfortably, you may have some issues. So you want to have a nice straight alignment, no pain, no discomfort. Here we have the sandbag press out, teaching transition from one side to the other. Again, rotation is all about energy transfer and bracing through the torso. Next, you're gonna see the sandbag rotational press. Because the vertical movement of the bag will challenge the core more, you're gonna find some leakage of strength here. The sandbag itself will measure how accurate the movements are. Next, you're gonna see a med ball rotational throw, which is gonna teach power development along with a vertical torso, which is easy for the low back. Here, we have the rotational deadlift with the sandbag. We're adding rotation and a hip hinge, so we're gonna slow down the movement. The sandbag works perfectly, teaching how to brace the upper back and torso. Here's a kettlebell inside-outside clean. Now that we're teaching power rotation and hip hinge, we're going to keep the load under our base of support, which allows a safer movement in a more complex pattern. For the rotational sandbag clean, we're gonna be developing force from the outside of the body to inwards, which is going to require a higher level of competency, both in rotation and in bracing. Here with sandbag shoveling, uh, similar to a kettlebell swing, we're working with a longer lever arm, which means we're working more on deceleration strength. By having a longer lever arm, you can make it harder without going heavier. 